This is my side-by-side -side comparison today. I got the Baratza Encore on the left, and I got the Breville Smart Grinder Pro on the right. I want to go through the features with you um, and tell you what I like and dislike about both of these grinders. But before I do that, please subscribe. Um, your subscription to my YouTube channel helps me continue to put out more videos and more content and it makes me feel supported as an individual. Uh, as well as if you're interested in either one of these grinders, please use my affiliate link in the description below. These affiliate links will give me a little bit of commission off of your purchase of one of these grinders, but it will not cost you any additional. So this money will go partially between whatever vendor you buy it from and a little bit to me, but not much, but this will continue uh, to provide grinders for me to review and um, will continue to just help to help grow my YouTube channel with different videos that I can produce for you. So right off the bat, I want to start with this is $140. This is $200. This comes in white and black now. This one comes in black, stainless steel, and cranberry, which is like a reddish color. They could just call it red. Both of these are great grinders. You'll be happy with either one of them, in my opinion. But they both have some drawbacks. Uh, you got $60 cheaper here. Um, you got $200 here. And there's features there that are worth it for the $200 in. But there's features here that's worth it for the $140 in. So this grinder is particularly great. It's got an on and off switch here. This is modded, by the way. Um, I carbon fiber wrapped it, moved some switch, and upgraded the burrs. But there's an on and off switch here where you turn it, and it will grind until you turn it again. There's a pulse button here, so you can just pulse the grinder so it just grinds a little bit and that's about all there is for functions of it and this little ground spin. This Breville here has a little sealed case thing here. Also has a porta filter attachment where you can slide in a porta filter and click the button to start and stop it. It's got this removable tray here to grounds tray. It's got a little dial here on the side. Um, this has 40 settings, this has 60 settings, but this one also has an additional 10 inside the burr adjustment. This one grinds by time, so you set your grind time with this dial um, and click the start button and it will grind until um, it stops, I guess. Um, in here it has a locking burr, so you can switch out your beans in here. Um, you still have to grind through a little bit, and inside you can see the burr alignment, so you can change basically knock this out and change the grind setting on that. Uh, so pros and cons. First off is this grinder is great for pour overs, French press, and cold brew. I wouldn't, and aero press for that matter. It is not an espresso grinder. It will not do a good job at espresso. This one, this one I would do an entry level electric grinder will work for anything you need it to be except for espresso. This one, I would look for, this is an entry level grinder to espresso that can also do pour over. The difference here is um, this one gives you a little bit finer adjustments It's because it's got 60. So it gives you a little bit more control of it, but it does not go coarse enough for French press or cold brew. So you're paying $60 for some features and the ability to do espresso, but struggle a little on the higher ends. This one... If you're only going to do pour overs and never plan on doing espresso, I would go with the Baratza. The reason for that is Baratza's customer service is phenomenal. Um, they reply quickly, they get all of their jobs done, and this grinder is designed to be taken apart and being fixed. You can see me take the, disassemble this entire grinder on a video where I'm doing a burr upgrade where I'm changing the entire burr set in there to make it a higher quality grinder, and I do redo the electrical work wiring in here to move this switch and it does a great job. It does the job that it needs to be. I'm happy with it. It was easy to take apart. Baratza's motto is don't dump it, fix it. Breville on the other hand is a pain in the butt to fix. It's not designed to be taken apart very easily. Uh, the customer service is a lot of work and it takes a lot of time to get through to them and it's not designed to be fixed and I'm scared when, that it's going to be break and I'm going to be out $200. Um, this one stays at home. This is my dedicated pour over grinder, cold brew grinder, things like that. This one is my office because it can dabble in espresso and be my entry level espresso grinder. And it can still do my pour overs here and there. 
And then I also have a different espresso grinder for here as well. But this this grinder is the one to go with if you're doing pour overs. This is the one you go with if you are entry level to pour overs, entry level to espresso is the way that I look at this. This grinder is always gonna do a great job for pour overs. This is, I wouldn't recommend cheaper unless you're going for a hand grinder. Um, all the other ones will have like kind of these fox burrs, um, not the greatest, not the greatest in things and isn't gonna do the best job of evenly grinding coffee. So I would choose this one for, again, this one for pour over, this one for espresso, if you're willing to get in it, and if that's your budget. If you have a higher budget, there's obviously the more you spend, the more you're gonna get in certain ways, but they, these have their unique abilities to do great in certain ways. Uh, so choose it for whatever you think is best. If you have any questions, feel free to drop in the comments. Please subscribe and please use the links in the description to purchase any of your grinders if you choose to buy one today. Thanks.